Great. All right. Yeah. So insurance, Nick, this morning. Hey, now we're with Jeff. And like I said, we're with the most connected business <laughs> downriver. Introduce yourself, sir. Tom Lawrence, owner of Lawrence Technology Services. All right. So I don't think really Tom needs to truly introduce himself. No, I think a lot of people already no. know this. Some people know who I am. Some people. Some. People. All right. Well, so this is uh, in the business name, the official business name. The official business name is Lawrence Technology Services, and other people know us. We're phasing it out, but it's still PC pickup still links to us. It's another company we own. Okay. So, so it's all in this building. And everybody in Down River and friends, whenever you ask about a computer and you see me tag somebody, that's the guy. This I'm is tagging. the guy. Now, you know, Tom, I, I met Tom several years ago, and he's actually taking care of a lot of the services at our office. Yep. And uh, to watch you grow has been pretty amazing to <laughs> see the development over time. And we're actually we're going to have you tell a story in a second about. <laughs> Uh, some of the most recent travels. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. I think it's. A, I, I think it's definitely notable, right? When you're on the right network. Now, Tom, you got a YouTube channel. Tell everybody about your YouTube channel. YouTube channel. You can find it on my website, LawrenceSystems.com. So first, that's easy thing. Go to my website at the bottom or the blog. Uh, you'll find all the links to all the things we do related to YouTube and, of course, all the services we offer. Uh, but the YouTube channel is a tech channel where we drop a lot of knowledge and tutorials, and we have a lot of things on there. We give a lot of information away for free. And, like, I mean, all of it. We are very open about things. People yeah. say, how to remove a password. There's an entire <laughs> video on how to remove passwords from Windows. Then people <laughs> watch it, and you can decide whether or not you want to pay us to do those steps, or you can watch it and do those steps yourself. We're, so we're, it's like a walk-along tutorial. Yeah. We don't hide. There's no secrets to what we do. It's just a matter of, well, do you want to learn it? You could fix the transmission in your car. You have to decide, do you want to learn how to fix the transmission in your car? Uh, no, no, no. I'm a, I'm a, I got a guy. I got a guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's certain things that I shouldn't be doing. Yeah. And that's how I really look at it. Some people will say you shouldn't share your secret sauce. I'm like, why not? Why not? Why not put it all out there? I, and, uh, you don't understand something until you've uh, taught someone how to do it or to teaching. So a lot of the YouTube stuff that we create also is a reassurance that we understand how to do it. It also serves as training materials for new staff that comes in here. They can watch videos on learning how to do things. And sometimes I forget how to do a thing because I knew how to... <laughs> and, <laughs> like You can search it. And it's funny, um, when my staff said that, he could remember how to get something done. He to put it in Google to search it in the top result was our YouTube video on how to do the thing he was looking for. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> no, that's pretty good. But, and what's funny is that he's, he, all this complicated, to me it's complicated. But then, my kind of level, that's the time I can't get Wi-Fi in my garage. You know, so you had one of them little Wi-Fi yes. routers. Yep. Now, now you the loving, a hey, the loving wife's happy. The loving she can wife watch Walking Dead in the garage now. So you make your wife stay in the garage? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. He's got TV not out there, there for it. Hey, I'm not there. That's why she <laughs> wants to be there. Oh, is that what it is? All right, fair enough. Well, I can really, uh, I can, I can back up and support what you're talking about when, because uh, I've had a few issues. We did an update one night, and I can just tell you this real quick. <laughs> I did an update one night that uh, wonderful Windows machine, and uh, it just, it is what it is. And so, in the middle of what I was working on. All of a sudden, it processes an update, so I, okay, fine, I'll wait for it. All of a sudden, I lost a drive or two my Wi-Fi. <laughs> so I'm thinking, well, what the heck am I supposed to do at this point? I didn't do anything. So I tried to restart, tried to reboot, didn't help, didn't help. So I sent Tom's team a message, and <laughs> before you know it, check this, check this, check this, boom, back up and operational. And it was, it's cool to see the resources that you provide because you have these videos that are out there. You have it as uh, is just quick information for yes. for the guy that tinkers. Yeah, we have the information we have. Tinkers, uh, we have the large scale projects, which is funny, we were filming one last night. Uh, it's funny because we finished at two in the morning. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, that was when we finished wiring another off. We do oh, like, like commercial. This morning. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. I I won't lie, my staff was there till two. I left at around midnight. So, oh, okay. right. maybe for then. So. Now we know. Yeah, now you know. Once I, you know, I don't actually work, I just wander around with a camera sometimes. <laughs> But you well, know, Corey works hard at doing all oh, that. Oh, so. absolutely. No, and so you guys do large-scale installs now. I yes. Mean, we've seen some of the jobs, and if you haven't paid attention, I know that Tom will post a few later in the comments below. Yeah. But uh, tell somebody, you know, tell these guys, uh, like, the capacity that you have. So we will do, uh, we've done, well, we did just Wi-Fi. So we'll do, we can do Wi-Fi in your home if you go, you know what, my Wi-Fi sucks, and it probably does, because a lot of the consumer <laughs> stuff you can buy at Best Buy is just not that great. Even though it may have a two or $300 price tag on it, a lot of it's just not that great. So we can do uh, Wi-Fi for your business, Wi-Fi for your 
uh, your home or sell you some of the equipment for that. Then we scale up from there. Uh, some of our clients include like Southgate Chrysler. We wired their building, like the dealership. Novive Cadillac, we put in there. Uh, there's several large transportation companies uh, like Lakeshore Utility Trailer, which is, you may not know this, but right here down river, Lakeshore Utility Trailer, they are a full service company that delivers Pizza Hut. When they order like hundreds of trailers wrapped with the pizza on the side, they build the trailer from raw materials, they wow. fabricate it, they wrap it with the graphics and everything. That's done right there in Telegraph Road. We also did all their infrastructure, camera systems, and everything else. And so I did not realize the scale of that company. <laughs> the owner's a wonderful guy, but just a side note there, that they're building it right here, right down the street, down right the river down. here. Yeah. yeah, there are. We live the, in a kind of like we didn't realize the size of your company. You know? <laughs> well, you, you know what that happens, yeah, right? Exactly. I mean, we kind of get lost in our world, and we keep working really hard, and just keep plugging along, yeah, and, and before you know it, it's before amazing. you know it, you're invited to one of the oh, big know, events, largest and events, and in, in, oh yeah, uh, in well, tech that, and would that be in the in the tech industry period? Ah, uh, <laughs> let's see. There was thirty thousand people at the Microsoft Ignite event, so I'm going to say it's a, a large tech event. Okay, for sure. so. Tell everybody kind of the background and the backstory of how you were invited to this. So do, when I'm not running yeah, my right. business, uh, <laughs> the other side things I do besides my YouTube channel, I also have a couple co-hosts and we have a podcast. And the podcast is deeply technical, so I don't really promote it a lot on Down River and Friends and things like that because it's very, very, what they refer to as deep in the weeds technical stuff. But it's a lot of fun for me, and Microsoft picked that up. Now, it's got a pretty big following as well, and a couple of people who were in the executive level at Microsoft said, those guys seem interesting, and generally we are anti-Microsoft in a lot of the perspectives we have at the server level. So they invited us out to Seattle earlier this year. Uh, to their conference to interview Microsoft executives and basically the top people who are running the Microsoft stuff uh, to talk with them about it. And that led to, they liked the content we produced in Seattle, so then they flew us to Ignite. And the Seattle event's huge, too. Right. That, one, that one's equally big. That's right by Microsoft's, not far from their uh, headquarters out there. And uh, then he had us at Ignite, and then in, we're going again to New York for a more exclusive event called Microsoft Connect, where it's very high level. We're going to be doing more interviews with people and producing content. Some of that ends up on my YouTube channel. Some of that ends up in a podcast. Once again, it's easy to find all of that off of my website if you're interested in all these so little put, side things I do. Let's put this in perspective. Here's a guy in Down River and Friends that I'm referring to everybody to. I tag him. Right. He's doing the Wi-Fi in my garage, and Microsoft is keeping an eye on this guy, calling him to use you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, well, and you, you talk about being the, the authority, and it's not that you coined the fact that I'm the authority. It's actually in your environment behind the four walls mm -hmm. of the individuals that follow you with YouTube and that, that you've become this authority voice. Yeah, on how things are, how things work, communicate, operate, function, what's the, the usability, the feasibility, everything else, and it really actually is it's a amazing. big deal. It's behind amazing. The yeah, and what's what's fun for me is uh, the reason I don't go like fully into like the journalism side and things like that is because having the hands on and being able to deal with both sides of it creates a more interesting perspective. Uh, you have a lot of the executive level people who end up in a bubble. And, uh, True. Because it's in their office and it looked good on paper. Well, look on paper, and <laughs> if they're not directly interacting with things, and there's companies uh, in the past that have done this, and some of the airlines used to do this. I don't know if they saw this policy, uh, but they used to make the executive management team spend one or two days answering help desk phone calls every it's month. It's like undercover boss. Yeah, it's yeah. like undercover if boss. They only had a show like that. They only had a show like that. <laughs> but basically, when you keep people connected at both levels, you understand what the product needs to do in the end, right. as both said. And it's uh, also what makes it kind of fun talking to these people because they like to see, they like the discussion of in the field. How is it you guys are deploying something? So we still do all these deployments for a lot of the small business market because I think it's still a uh, really underserved market. Small businesses always are kind of like, what do I spend on? What do I do this? And Well, yeah. yeah. I, mean, that's a, I know that's been a struggle for us back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's you need a computer, you need this. I'm not sure it's not connected. It's not communicating. Uh, uh, call Tom. Yeah. And that's my answer because at that point in time, but you're right, you get to see the, the actual install portion of it and then the usability. Yeah. We don't care. We just want to hit the button and make it work. Right? Oh, yeah. What was fun this morning was before before we came on, listening to these two talk, and <laughs> then I'm sitting there trying to figure out how to copy and paste something. Yeah. <laughs> these two are, they... Well, I am nowhere I mean, near on this caliber. <laughs> I'm just oh, a man, I, oh, I know. You're like, I am, I, you're yeah, like a I'm kid at near. Christmas. Well, I am. I am. Tom's got some very unique uh, <laughs> toys that uh, I envy. He's got a, well, I'm looking at a complete studio he has set up over there. But, uh, hey, 
Well, we got an iPhone 7. There is That's a right. yeah. there is a full <laughs> tour of the office that you can find on our YouTube channel, uh, or just stop by if you're in the area if you want to see this. So there's, my building's kind of split in two, and the way it works is we're standing on a technical side where you see we do retail computer repair, so if you need your computer fixed, you can bring it in here. We absolutely do that. Like, just general public, anyone wants to come in. Um, so that's this side, and that's what's going on in this area. And on the other side of that wall is a full studio where we do production and reviews and things like that. So it's kind of weird. It's all in one physical building, uh, just dividing the wall over there. That's the studio. And that's where yeah, he's walking around. We got the whole walls are soundproofed and everything else. And if you see the videos, you'll see the tour and kind of get an idea of what's going on here. Yeah, I think it's a great place. It is. And you know what? I'm proud of you, though, to, to see in just a short period of time to go through and to develop and continue to grow the way that you have now at this point in time. I think it's just amazing, and yeah. it's a great resource in our Down River community to tap into. Because I remember, that was a, three years ago, I remember the term, you know, just trying to put uh, Geek Squad out of business one yeah. week at a time. <laughs> I think that's what I heard at one point, yeah. right? Well, we're just and better was, than a whole squad of geeks. Right. Right. Yeah. And, that's, and that's it, though. It, it was kind of a, not necessarily a joke or a pun, yeah. but it was... You know, it respected from the aspect of how big box business does work, right, and yet right. when you come back down to the personal service, that's what you guys provide. And I've actually seen the diminish of the Geek Squad discussion, and yet see how much more authority you do bring to the table to right. make things happen and to take care of people. I think the right. installs that I've seen you guys film and, and video that's in Detroit and all that, and the yeah. big channels. and and pulling wires in the servers because you got to have <laughs> lights on your servers. It makes yeah, it go yeah. faster. Makes it go faster. Yeah, and from our standpoint, you know, from Down River Friends, we have I absolutely one hundred percent refer him, tag him, and I know he's going to take care of it. But like a lot of people don't understand, you know, Tom and I were talking before you, you know, while you were late. Man, we're here we go. Yeah, you know, <laughs> tough crowd. <laughs> some boat excuse. I don't know. Anyway, you know, you talk about like free diagnostics. Yes, it's free diagnostic. If you bring it to Tom, bring it to the store, right? <laughs> you see what right. I'm yeah. saying? You, he's not. They're not going to come to your house. Well, you got to look around. Free. These, these are the <laughs> units that you're, you guys are exactly. working oh, yeah. on. So to take time out of the office to go do a diagnostic on the computer, and even now, nowadays, you guys have. The ability to just start uh, start a uh, remote, remote session. Session. yes, we allow it remotely too, <laughs> yeah. and which is really neat for those that are you know you don't necessarily know how to take your computer apart or whatever the case may be to bring it in. You can go to Lawrence Technology, <laughs> right, or LawrenceSystems.com. Yeah, LawrenceSystems.com, yeah. and we and do a lot of our work remotely. You you really do because you can just tap in, yeah. hit the button, it starts a session, and then somebody on the other side picks up the invite and then just starts working. And on if your you've ever had that done, that is. Like you sit there all of a sudden. Yeah. I, I haven't done a lot. Your, your mouse yes. is your mouse is drawn this, all over the place. This actually allows us to be very efficient and very cost effective because if we don't have time, because everyone knows driving is no fun, uh, especially when there's traffic and you know things make you late because you get stuck by a boat. <laughs> <laughs> so. Because of that, we can be more places at once, and we can get things done faster, which means if everything's getting done in a more efficient and faster way, it's less expensive to have these remote service calls done. Uh, we're handling, like, we're the outside IT for probably close to 400 businesses just in the Down River area right now. That's and uh, it's because we're able to do that with less staff and less expense because we do a lot of remotely. A lot of things can be solved in less than 10 minutes, and that's a big, that's, you know. That's funny how you just said that. All this stuff that he's doing, he, we're talking about him doing, there's a gorilla walking around out there. Uh, um, <laughs> he smells like barbecue. Uh, anyways, there's eight eight of them. Yeah. Yeah, the fake guy. All of this. Well, it's eight. about being efficient. You know, uh, Tom's background, it's similar to mine being in the automotive industry prior to, um, you learn really quick on how to reduce the efficiency. Oh, that's great. Jay Ray found us. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah. Everywhere. Is that Should we invite them in? Well, no, we're wrapping up <laughs> okay. here. Yeah. But being in the audience, yeah, no, right. leave my, hey, I forgot about all those guys. Leave that guy. Yeah. 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 He'll, see it. He'll see it in a second. <laughs> hey, why isn't he watching? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. he should be watching. Yeah. He should be. That's, now we all called him out. Yeah. I hey, know. You've known that guy longer than I have. Mm hmm. So, all right. So, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but being in the automotive industry has allowed you to understand the, the processing of, of removing waste. And it's always a pass through for efficiency and to save money. And to your end consumer, meaning customer, that also means that you're paying less for the service that's needed. Yep. So I think you do. You guys do a great job. Uh, yeah, if absolutely. you're looking for more information on Tom, obviously uh, check much him out. Pretty much an open book. Well, right. I mean, <laughs> they're on Facebook. They've got their website. Uh, what's the phone number? 
313-299-1503. All right, so PC Pickup, and you guys know where it's at, Lawrence yep. Technology, Lawrence right. Services. We're here in Pennsylvania. Yeah, Pennsylvania Road in Southgate. That's the office you want to go to. We have a Detroit location as well, but that's only for B2B work. So, all right. He's not going to want to leave. I know. Well, right. I can't wait to turn this off so I can keep roaming around. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys. Yeah, I know. Should right. we let that girl in now? Or? Oh, the girl. I left. think he left. Did he? I don't have his number. I oh, can really? message him.